And now for our last problem, we do x2 plus xy plus xyz plus z plus zx squared. So we do this. We translate x. So if x equals 9, so that'd be 9 over 2. That's what it says in my workbook. Plus xy, so that'd be 9. And y equals 1 third. So that'd be 9 parentheses, 9 parentheses, 1 third. Plus x, which is 9 parentheses, 1 third parentheses, 2 plus z, but z is really 2. What? 2. And y, I mean, an x is 9. So, now we do 9 and, now we do the innermost parentheses. So, 9, how do we make it into a fraction? Put it over 1. Let's simplify if we can. So it's 3 over 1. Bring everything else down. Bringing everything else down now. Okay. So now we're going to do the innermost parentheses still. So all, so really this and this would be, we have to put this over 1. So that would be, if we can cancel, which we can, that would still be 3 over 1. And now we bring everything else down, which is another 3 over 1, a 9 and a 2, and a parentheses 2. Plus this. 2 and 9. Now, we need to do the times. Because we still have times here. Times comes before plus. So, now, we have to put this over 1. So, it is 6 over 1. Now, we bring everything else down. And now we now we have all pluses, so really can't do anything. I need to find this. So that's nine times nine, two times, that's eighty one. And we, ah, oh wow, made a mistake with my eighty one. Plus three ones plus six ones plus two and nine. I'm going to keep making mistakes today. Nine. So, now we do 81 over 1. 82, 83, 82, 83, 84. 84. 84 plus 6, 1. Plus. Now we just made this problem a whole lot easier. But now... We need to know what is 2 in nines. So, that's the 2 thing of nines. So, something, time, something times 2 times is 9. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, that is 3. So, we put everything else down. Yeah, I'm doing it the long way this time. But, gotta do it some way. Now, we have all the, the same denominators, so now we can do it. Now, that is 90, 93, and really we don't need that one, so it's, the answer is 93. And that is how to do that problem.